2004 driving the truck over the road as a trainee I disappear from the truck find myself in Europe and then again behind the wheel wheels of this truck as a trainee with an individual from of uh, Pakistan, excuse me. His name is Murtaza Mani Vivala. And like, he dislike US, but the truth is that most of the people in the US do. I wouldn't draw any conclusions to that. The only thing I can say is that he very, very, very closely and suspiciously watched me, observed me. I was in Pakistan. I was in Pakistan. Uh, not that Pakistanis would do this to me, Russians did. When I returned back inside of the behind the wheel, I had a problem with my spine. Uh, till then, I felt no pain, I had no problems. I could drive that truck without having any issues at all. Uh, ever since, uh, driving became very difficult. Uh, you're talking about procedure that preemptively already caused me a trouble before I even start this truck driving. Because if I recall this German in 1998 in Miami, employment office, state employment office where they had people from all the countries, from Italy, Germany, France, Britain, just as I have explained. One stop, work innovation center along the Biscayne. They had Russians there, they also had Ukrainians, they have everybody in there. MK Ultra is coming to an end. I remember this. This is something I was told by the Russians. It's coming to an end. And we just want to make sure that you... You're not going to succeed with this thing. Um, I don't have to tell what I have gone through. Uh, beginning with humiliation of the family of my own in Slovenia in, in mid-2006 when I would be called by my niece's husband, stupid dummy just for just no reason, really um, just lost about maybe 25 kilos on exercise sometimes 2002, 2003 really got in a good shape in 2004 uh, ever since however I started to place on my job applications description of um, inability of pain in my uh, upper neck area spine on how just uh, I can in no way I can perform any kind of uh, you know physical related work have a difficulty, uh, preferably would not even go and drive, which didn't make no sense. I did this examination, it was it started to get like almost job impossible. A German told me that in 98 that according to the specifications of the job, position, um, certain injuries secure over time. However, this types of injuries, which is just, um, how can I say, there's a profession, people, there's a certain profession, I don't know exactly an English name for this profession, but it's a safety related issue that they specify exactly over time what type of um, doctors do that, they, they do for every workplace that takes longer time the use of that is now that people change jobs more frequent but in the past people held jobs for many years decades 
uh, what type of injuries uh, the employment will result in on the long term. German told me these types of injuries can be, however, accelerated with, you know, through the procedure I have just stated. Make no mistake, clamp, some sort of clamp, something was inserted, I don't know, in my spine area where it squeezed nerve. And so, since I exercised, I was not even sure whether this could not, you know, be related to a type of the exercise injury. So I no longer could exercise because if I would just try to lift, I would just, I would have excruciating pains. I would have really, really a problem. Russians again told me, if I repeat, just in case MK Ultra is coming to an end, uh, to ensure that somehow you would not manage to get through. Wrote this on job applications, uh, my inability to perform work in US, in Slovenia, anything related to the like physical work upper body, having a problem. And it was like this till 2017. The idea was through forced unemployment, psychiatric torture, to depress, to break you, dis destroy you, uh, to make you eat yourself out. Have you watched my videos about Slovenian President Borut Pahor, how he organized in Slovenia with the police, along with the police. Like, this here would be like a perfect environment almost. If there was a river somewhere near uh, that would fit in the description of my home over there in Slovenia. Like, on every village, they village in, 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 in remote houses, in forests, in uh, near bridges, whatever it was like on, on the fields. They simulated me how they gonna go and jump out of the grass um, behind from behind the trees and so on. Shoot me from the hill, whatever. Israelis with the snipers that I'm gonna be shot, killed, that Israeli want me dead. If I'm gonna only dare to talk against the Israel and this and that. It was all about the Israel. Israel, 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 Israel. And parallel to this stuff, what was happening here in Poland just a few days ago. I think, actually, what, yesterday the news was released that Poland will not pay any financial uh, obligations for the property stolen, seized, basically, from Jews who used to live in the Poland. This was one of the main preoccupations of Kaczynski, who believed that through this type of MK Ultra procedure, which never ever is going to be like publicly recognized, uh, he would manage to steer uh, enough fear into the bones of Israelis that eventually would even quit from uh, pursuing forward with their claim for the property, for the return of the property. It was all well prepared ahead. A mastermind of this, who might have even instructed Kaczynski, explained Kaczynski on how they're going to do it, was Slovenian President Borut Pahor. But I could tell you the whole lot about this issue. The main thing to understand is I was a neo-Nazi, I was a fascist. In 2017, when I filed political asylum in Belarus, I'm, I did not 
the girl who was involved in MK Ultra, Belarus girl, that gave her life for the Belarus and for the Russia. For the Russia, basically. Because this is how, you know, this is related straight to the Moscow. Uh, like people, associates that work along the Putin, like people that assisted Putin with whatever he needed in respect to the foreign business people, politicians and so on, to keep them happy and so on, um, saved me from this totally inhumane, you know, I could not even type on the computer because the pain, I'm telling you, it would, it would, it would break you. Uh, in front of the computer. I complain on my videos, I complain, I complain, I complained. Saved me from one. She cured me. We had a sex. And she realized that I do have a pain here, that I am suffering from this pain in, in, in upper spine, neck area. I was taken for a ride to Poland. And this is what I will be talking to you about in this video. Uh, this is going to be a separate video from audio recording, but make no mistake, this is just the way it is. By simply pulling, having their yet another medical procedure to pull this, whatever they use, clamp, to squeeze enough from, from the area. Because ever since, I can tell you, People saw it, I lifted, I exercised, I'm really fit, strong, I don't have a problem with it. But in 2017, they caused another type of injury. Basically saved me from this type of uh, suffering that supposedly would cause me to become through, you know, previously I mentioned threats, terror, Israeli snipers, paranoia, schizophrenia, real schizophrenia, real paranoia. And now you can understand who is producing one, why, for what type of political designations. Destined to become obese, fat, mentally sick through the psychiatric torture in Slovenia that lasted no less than five years. Have you seen the terror I have gone through, suffering, pain, uh, where I could not even walk? Pain that I was afraid to stay inside of the house at home because I could it was it bordered to deliria and in deliria you can completely lose yourself from such a pain from such a suffering i asked my mom to just take me back to the hospital or other than have me at home this is the type of prescriptions they gave me i could not move my jaws oh you you have no idea what they have done to me in 2017, the roommate I have right now, the KGB roommate I have from Belarus, he is. Both of the roommates from Belarus were involved in MK Ultra torture. Told me, now they want to see if I can still do this thing at all. They brought me to Poland, back to the Belarus. They told me, we doubt you can see this, you can make this thing you can make it through this thing at all anymore because the main cause was my age i am 47 now and americans kids israelis polish kids here that try this what i have gone through they tried just like i would say maybe 20 percent 30 percent of what i have gone through with the money in the pockets shekels dollars Pounds were exchanged in Zgirsh. I will be talking to you about this documentary now. And they assisted one another. They checked them. It was like when they came, they would have to go like through the check control. 
but what they did was they give one another money and they hide that money and so on at times they caught them and they were quite yelled at by the politicians when it got to their attention Americans however repeated to the locals here uh, they told them they asked them to help me out and the locals weren't sure what's going on they were like asking them is this is what he's gonna have to go through like what you are going through right now because this was crazy to do this stuff like this anyway uh, and Americans keep repeating, no, man, he's going to have to go through the real whole procedure. We are not doing anything like this. We're just doing something, okay? He is going to have to do the whole thing, for real. And Belarus guy said, according to opinion of others here, experts, physicians, you are not even going to be capable to get through this ordeal here in Poland, which they have organized. Well, I think I did go through, I managed to get through and beyond. Uh, I think I left in the dust physically those that were 25, 30 years old. Um, and then intellectually, whatever was important to me, but more than good enough to prove the case. Um, this is just a little bit about my story. Now what I am going to do is I have to explain to you that identifying stores, malls, locations, therefore owners of the stores of the businesses is not an easy thing when you are subjected to MKUltra. It would be almost impossible even if you would be brought back to the city let's suppose that you did not go through mk ultra if you would score something like i did as i'm about to present to you you would do phenomenal phenomenal and i was not even interested in doing it because i didn't want to do it i was laughing at them poking fun at them i do not believe that through the forced forced unemployment forced forced unemployment forced forced unemployment i remember my first 70 videos they were all titled forced unemployment this is about the violence this is about unprecedented violence chances that you watch what you what you are watching right now it just didn't happen ever before. You didn't have a case like this that somebody would actually go through and do this stuff like that. I sure can assure you that today I am still like new. Like on a day when I came here. The tapes are my property. The torture tapes, the Russian torture tapes, the Russian torture that took place in cities Gersh in Poland, in a central Poland, in the center of the Poland, in front of the business owners, are property of mine. They are personal property of mine. They belong to the people of Poland. This isn't about the racism, releasing the truth, about the Russia. This isn't maddling. This is a madness. 13 years with the clamps squeezing my nerves, spines, Sque squeezing my nerves and spine area. Torture right here in the center of the Poland in front of the Polish people that left Polish people alone, Polish business owners traumatized, seeing what went on in front of their eyes, couldn't do, just helplessly could watch them doing with me whatever they would want. Electroshocks, drugs used to wipe the memory out. 
This is Russia. I hate to say this is Russia and I need those tapes so the Russian people alone so the Russian people alone can see what sits inside of the Kremlin so they understand you want to call this a racism you want to call this what is it you want to call this fascism Nazism you want to call this Stalinism what is it you want to call this I think it's sick and it sits inside of the Kremlin it governs the Russia and have declared the war in Ukraine have poisoned the Russian nation driven Russian nation alone into a complete oblivion insanity that's why those tapes those tapes are my tapes Zgersh police had those tapes I was told by the Zgersh police that once I start talking about those tapes it's everything it's over there will be no help anymore to me nothing no assistance anything I was told by the opposition of course if that was really the opposition of Kaczynski that in this case they could not help me out with it again I will have to just be quiet about it and I was even told by police by psychologists that what I went through basically would be used as some form of reconciliation basically as a way like in a normal way that they would try to normalize Russia uh, I disagree with this kind of ways there is a 13,000 Ukrainian corpses in Ukraine Russians don't ask they take the gun they put the bullet in your head and throw you inside of the ditch Serbs did the same they murdered thousands of Croats Bosnians Bosniaks over there that's all they did they bombed the cities they wiped the cities out I don't know what the hell you're talking about at all the best medication the best solution is the true the question however is if you can handle the true I should say the question here is who you really are if you're not gonna release those tapes if you're not gonna release those tapes it means that you are Moscow it means that you are Kremlin it means that you are enemy of the Poland and it means that you're enemy of Ukraine and of the world of everything that is normal in this world those tapes are mine those tapes you're gonna give those tapes those tortured tapes of me you're gonna give them out an American side should watch this case very very closely before they sign that before they complete that deal about the f-35s and so on this is a very very important deal this deal here this is a very important deal because this deal demonstrates whom is it exactly you are selling those planes whom exactly is it that you're giving all those planes the assistance and so on are these tapes that decide about the Poland these tapes are worth more than money and I would want nothing more than this country to do very well that's how it is with these tapes all right the individual who told me on how it's questioned whether I can even perform in Poland in 2017 was a Yuri a roommate so-called a roommate the one that calls me a malchik a shit he calls me a schizophrenic is what he tells me think about this stuff because this is what he did for quite some time for several months before I turned him back and I have tapes I have audio proofs about it and when you say about that reconciliation think about that this is the type of reconciliation I will not agree to Yuri only wants two million dollars from old wrinkled men according to him I have to exercise for my wrinkles not to show up well this stuff here actually it's been audio recorded I gotta say and it's something he gestured me on that MK Ultra the case would be 
a shit, a no good, an old man who's gonna pay him a two million dollars for torture. That's basically what I am.